Hi, and welcome to our GeoPortal support video. This video provides information about managing your account and accessing your GeoPortal applications. It will cover receiving an account, logging in for the first time, recovering your account, and trouble with logging in. If yours is the first account from your organization, then please make sure your company adds the GeoPortal to its list of accepted email addresses on its email server. This ensures emails from the GeoPortal service aren't blocked or treated as spam. When you are issued an account on GeoPortal, the system will send you two emails. One email will provide a direct URL to the application or applications to which your account has access, along with your username. Remember, you can always access the application from the GeoPortal homepage, Client System Login Menu. The second email contains a temporary password that you will have to change when you log in with it. Your password is only known to you. It is not visible to the administrator, so if you forget it, it cannot be recovered and must be reset. If you do not see the emails, check your spam folder. If they aren't there, contact your GeoPortal administrator. When logging in for the first time, use the email with the application URL, or log in from the GeoPortal homepage in the Client System Login menu and choose the application there. You will be challenged to log in. Use the username from the first email and the temporary password from the second email. Remember, the password is case sensitive. You will now need to create a new password. When you click OK, you will need to assign a new password and create responses for three challenge questions. When creating a new password, keep in mind, passwords are case sensitive. They must be at least eight characters in length. They must contain at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter. They must contain at least one number. They must not contain any part of your username. They must be new, i.e. you can't reuse a password. Answer three of the many security challenge questions provided. If you make a mistake, the system will help you identify what the problem might be. Once successful, the message will indicate that you need now to log in with the new password you created. Make sure you type in the new password because the password already on the form is the old one that your browser still remembers. If for some reason you are locked out of your account and it needs to be reset, there is a password reset function on the home page beside the login that you can use if you have already set up your three challenge questions. When you do, the account reset process will kick in. Provide your username and email address. Answer one of the challenge questions you have already set up. Wait a moment for the email to arrive with confirmation and a temporary new password. When you get the new temporary password, log in and you will be prompted to change it. If you don't see the password change form, it's likely browser pop-up blocking settings need to be fixed to allow pop-ups. See our GeoPortal support video or the support page if you need help with this. Once successful, you now log in with the password just created. And don't forget to type in the new password, because the password showing is the old one. If you get an authorization error when logging in, it might be because Windows remembered the last domain you logged on to. But that domain might not have access to the internet in the GeoPortal applications. If so, log in with Use Another Account and type in your username and password. In the Username field, some government accounts may need to specify the domain, Web02, then your username in the top field as shown. Thank you for watching.